What's happening, everybody? Replay viewers, welcome. Thanks for watching the replay. You can still tap the screen and leave some hearts. Krista is here. Welcome, Krista. What's going on? How you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to show you guys how to make a million bucks tonight. Not tonight, but like tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a million bucks. You know what I mean. <laughs> so we're going to give a few minutes to let some people file in here. Yo, yo. What's up, brother? How you guys doing? <clears throat> Jason invited followers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's get a few folks in town. Ken Pickard is here. What's up, Ken? I'm going to show you guys how to make a million bucks. And today is the, well, it's technically the second. If you can make a dollar, you can make a million of them. That is absolutely right. If you can make a dollar, you can make a million of them. So today's actually the second attempt at Whiteboard Wednesday. What's up, Ken? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. We're going to give a couple of minutes to uh, let some folks file in. Hey, anyway, can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Actually, we'll give a few minutes for a couple of minutes. <coughs> All right, perfect. Hey, Wendy, what's up? What's up? Thank you so much, Ken, for inviting followers. I appreciate it. Um, everybody else that is here, if you could uh, invite your followers, if you could share on Twitter, I would definitely appreciate it. I promise you this is going to be a really good one. You guys are going to love it. All right, let's see. I recognize this name, Jay Happy. I forgot the name, though. Can you remind me one more time? What's your first name? What's your first name? How can I win a trillion bucks? I don't know, but if you find out, please let me know. Please let me know. How can you get it? I don't know. You, let, you find that out, let me know again. <laughs> What's up, Markwell? How's it going, buddy? I appreciate you guys hanging out. So, everybody that's here, I thank you so much for showing up. My name is Justin Glover, and uh, tonight on this broadcast, I'm going to show you how to make a million dollars. I don't know how quickly. It depends on how quickly you actually implement this, but I'm going to show you the formula, and we're going to be covering this right here. All right, this is Whiteboard Wednesday, and you get all of this. And let me tell you something, guys. You see these little sections? So we got this one right here, the schedule, the formula, or the uh, business model. I've got my email schedule, my blog post schedule, my Glover Scope schedule. I've got the secret formula underneath this piece of paper, which I'm going to show you last. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the overall picture, the, the uh, business model. Um, I can't see that because of the glare. But let me just tell you something, guys. Each one of these little sections is absolutely an hour periscope on its own. However, I'm not going to keep you guys uh, here for into multiple hours. I'm going to try to wrap this thing up in 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and I promise you, you're going to want to uh, to hang on for the entire time because it's just good stuff. If you guys were on the one earlier, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So thanks for inviting your followers, inviting your friends. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to plug my mic in just a second. And I want you guys to tell me if this makes the sound better. All right? Some serious gold. I'm telling you. All right. All right, so how is that? Is that, uh, is that sound better or worse? Much better. All right. Henry says much better. Who else says this sound is better? Type in let me know. All right, good to see you as well. Uh, much better, sound is a lot better, better. Okay, so here's the thing guys, this is a super cool little, it's called a Rode mic. And right here, what's up North Little Rock? So I just got this in a couple of days ago, all right? As you can tell, the sound quality is really good. So here's the thing. Who's Brenda? <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. Um, there's a chance that I will get, I will buy someone here on this Periscope uh, one of these tonight. Pretty cool, huh? So how do you do that? How do you win one of these cool mics? If you guys are wondering, there's two ways to win. First of all, we got to get lots of people here. So everybody here, I want you to swipe to the right, or actually, if you're on the live broadcast, you can click on Carl. That is him. He's the guy in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen below the floating hearts. Click on him and make sure that you are following me and you can go ahead and invite uh, invite your friends. All right? Invite your friends, share on Twitter, and then you can click them again and you can share, uh, you can invite your followers on Periscope. When you do that, that's the first step. That'll put more people in the broadcast, so that'll be the first thing. The second thing, 
tap, tap, tap the screen, all right? So the goal, you might be able, to, I don't know if you can see it over there, but right here, all right, where's my big finger? Hang on, let me back the camera up. All right, so right there, you can't see it from right here. It says 30,000 30, hearts. All right, so somebody do me a favor. Let me, somebody swipe right right now and click on my name, pull my profile up and see how many hearts I am at right now. All right, somebody give me a heart count. We're gonna get official heart count at the moment. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a heart goal. 164, 224. 164, 224. Let me write that down. 164, 224. All right. So we want 30,000 more. What's 30,000 more? Somebody that's good with math. What is that? 194? 194? Can we do 190, get, get to 194,000 hearts? It, you know what? If we can get to 194, we can get to 200, don't you think? I think we can get to 200. Here's the thing. If we can get to 200 hearts, or 200,000 hearts, one of you, I will buy this mic for. And you guys heard the difference. It makes a big difference. If you're doing periscopes, it's awesome. You need to have one of these things. It's a Rode mic. Um, I will buy one, and I'll show you. We'll have a little bit of fun on how to actually do that. So tap the screen. I believe you can live, uh, I believe you can leave 500 if you have to, if you, uh, you can swipe to the right or to the left. Yeah, I got 15,000 one day for giving away a book. This is way cooler than a book. Surely we can get to 200K, right? We can do it. Of course we can. You guys can do it. <clears throat> What's up, homie? Who is that? What's your first name? <clears throat> Finch Group. What is your name? All right. So 200K hearts is the, uh, who is Shirley? I don't know. 200,000 hearts is the goal. Um, we're going to get started here in two minutes. Two minutes, we dive into this right here. All right, we're going to dive into this whiteboard and go out. I'm going to give you guys probably, I don't know, if I were to, let's see. I can make one, I can make that into a product, I can make that into a product. Uh, there's at least four products that I could make out of what I'm about to share with you guys. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to give it to you for free. That's cool, right? So... Here's what we've got to do. The more people we get, 1,000 hearts so far. That's awesome. So 500 hearts, jump out of the broadcast, jump back in. I think, I don't know, maybe you guys that are more seasoned on Periscope can tell me. Um, some, some Periscopes, it seems like they can just keep tapping and keep tapping and you know all the hearts rack up. Other times, I'm not really sure what goes on. Um, like they have to jump out and jump back in after 500. I don't know how it works. Just keep, keep track of how many hearts we got. Make sure that we're consistently moving up uh, 500 is the capture limit, says Ken, and Ken knows Periscope uh, probably better than I do at this point. So, actually, I know he does. He's uh, there. You guys go follow Ken. Ken, put some emojis here in the uh, in the chat. Um, that way, people can tap on you and make sure that they are following you as well. Uh, so here's here's what we got to do. All right. So we're at 41 on here live right now. Uh, welcome, y'all. Says Terry. So do me a favor. Those of you that are new to my broadcast, type the number one. I want to say hello to you guys. <coughs> All right, there's Ken. Type on Ken's name and click the follow button. Make sure you're following Ken. All right, so we got uh, Brett is new. Darwish Joshua is new. Sweet Flower is two. <laughs> I guess that means not new. Ian is new. D.L. Varn is new. Um, Despite the Storm, Finch Group is new. Jose Lendi is new. Kiwi Girl Biz is new. Sweet Flower is new. Uh, Lee is new. Terry is here. How do I follow you? All right, so to follow me, let's see, we got uh, Waith, Waith Hackett? I'm not sure. Sorry, I, I know these aren't your first name, guys, so I got to come up with like a better thing other than, like, I got to say, like, type one and then your first name. I'm going to start doing that from now on. So how do you follow me? All of you guys that are new, thank you so much. First of all, thank you for showing up. I appreciate it, all right? How do you follow me? There's a couple of ways. The easiest way is to click on Carl, this guy in the bottom right-hand corner. His name is Carl. Hey, Robert, welcome. Thank you for new. Thank you for, Robert's new. Thank you for new. <laughs> Robert is new. Uh, thank you. So click on Carl. That's the little guy in the bottom right-hand corner. When you click on that, it'll pop up a little box right in the center of your screen. And then click on the follow button. You should see a blue thing with a check mark in it. That's how you know you're following me. Uh, Cladeson, I hope I pronounced that right, is new. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. All right. So... That's the deal, guys. 
uh, 30,000 hearts, and I'm giving you, a, I will give somebody here one of these mics. All right? Now, you guys ready to get started? You guys ready to get started? Yes, 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 yes. I need some yeses in here. Type, type boom if you are ready to get started. In, uh, no, yes doesn't work. Let's backspace. Type the word boom if you are ready to get started. Actually, do me a favor. I know, I know this is kind of all over the place. Type your first name in space and then the word boom. I'm going to read them that way. All right, if you're ready to get started. Terry says now, let's do it. So first name, then space, and then boom. Robert, boom. Henry, boom. Jason says he never says the word boom. You guys tap on Jason. Make sure you're following him. Lisa, boom. Uh, Ken, boom. Then we have actual booms. Uh, DL said like, I'm just going to show the picture. Uh, Cladeson, boom. Cynthia, boom. Michelle, boom. Ian, boom. Marquell says boom. Bradley, Bradley says boom. Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. So, welcome. Those of you that are brand new, my name is Justin Glover. Joseph Landy says boom. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Michael says boom. All right. Marquell is in with a boom. Perfect. Fibber. <laughs> so, my name is Justin Glover. I am a, an entrepreneur, a father, a husband, um, a cool guy, a blogger, a podcaster, a triathlon participant. Brian Metzger is here. He says boom. You guys go follow Brian. He's awesome. I keep freezing. I apologize about that. Um, I should be on Wi-Fi. I'm pretty. I actually know I'm on on Wi-Fi. Brett is here. He says, "Boom, baby." There you go. Brett's my favorite at the moment. He's got some passion, but be careful because we got a lot of passionate folks on here. They'll give you a run for the money. All right. So type I M caps so I can read them. Perfect. Awesome. And uh, whenever you tag me, if you type the word at Justin Glover in your comment here, it'll put this big old black arrow and uh, your comment will really stand out. So if you guys want to, that's a little tip for Periscope. If you guys are broadcasting or are attending broadcasters and you broadcast and you want to um, get the attention of the broadcaster, just tag them, type the at sign and then their username and you'll be able to get their attention. All right. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We are ready to go. So. Let me see if I can clip this thing. This might look silly being right here, but it's better than nothing. All right, you guys can still hear me good, right? You guys like the shirt? Be phenomenal or be forgotten. I like it. You guys familiar with uh, Eric Thomas, E.T., the hip-hop preacher? Ninja tip there. Yeah, absolutely. You need a bad connection, try to hop out and back in. Sometimes helps. Yeah, so if you have a bad connection, hop out of the broadcast, hop back in. Um, you guys that are here, do me a favor, invite your friends. I'm going to show you guys another tip. Um, invite your friends to the broadcast. I appreciate it. Just swipe to the right from left to right. and uh, Or you can click on Carl down on the bottom and click the button that says invite followers. And then click on Carl again and then click the button that says tweet on uh, Twitter or share on Twitter. All right? So I appreciate you guys for inviting your friends. Now, get into the content. Eric Thomas rocks. I agree. I uh, went down and hung out with him in Dallas, did an interview with him, and uh, then I, as soon as I uh, came back from Dallas, I went and bought the shirt. All right, so where do we want to start? All right, we got a lot of stuff. Let me give you a quick recap of what we're going to be talking about tonight. So this is the overall sort of diagram that I'm a very visual person. So this is a diagram of how I am currently using uh, Periscope in our business, sort of our model. We've got, uh, I've got, I'm going to be talking about some different links and resources, so I just went ahead and wrote them down uh, on, uh, on the board. The connection is on your end. Are you talking to me or it's on someone else's end? Meaning my connection is bad? Let me double check. Yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi. Type one if, if the connection is good, guys. Let me know that you guys can, can hear me. Is the connection good or is the connection bad? I'm guessing connection is bad because I'm not seeing comments. Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Let me know in the chat box. All right, so the chats are frozen. So uh, the, all the comments are probably going to explode in at once. It's <laughs> a little bit of lag. All right, I still see the hearts coming in. So can you guys hear me? Hey, do me a favor. Type in something in the chat box if you can hear me. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Hopefully the connection is, is not bad. I keep losing you. One, one connection is good. Okay, so looks like the connection is good. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, here we go. Sorry you keep losing me. All right, 
First of all, I want to start off with this right here. All right, this is the business model that uh, that we are currently running. Okay, so everything starts with free content. All right, that's we're we're creating a lot of free content. All right, we drive ads to free content. Then that free content goes on our blog. The purpose of this content is threefold. Number one, to send people to follow me on Periscope. All right, send people to follow me on Periscope. The second purpose of content is to get people on our email list. Third purpose of content is to put people on our webinar. Okay, why do we do this? Well, if they go on Periscope, then I can say, hey, go to results513.com and get on our email list. Once they're on our email list, we'll send you some emails with a lot of value back to some content. This content then puts you on the webinar. The content also splinters out to, to other, some of our other front end offers. Once they're on the email list, we send offers, we make money, all right? Once they are on the webinar, we make money. That's the model that we follow. So that's sort of the preface, the preframe, preframe for uh, what we do here, okay? So here's what we're actually gonna cover tonight. I'm gonna go over my personal schedule that I talked about earlier, okay? So this is my schedule that I, I am currently uh, following. All day, I'll show you what times of the day I do what, what I'm focusing on. This is the email schedule that I'm gonna cover and walk you through. I'm gonna show you the blog post schedule, show you what days of the week we post what type of content, what days of the week we email uh, to that content. And then we have Gloverscope. Gloverscope is what you are watching right now. Gloverscope is my Periscope TV show. It's a seven day a week TV show I broadcast every single day. Typically, it's in the middle of the day. However, the numbers are really low in the middle of the day. And uh, sometimes, not always, um, but uh, so, so I'm playing around with some different times. I may end up moving that. However, uh, regardless, every single day, I'm gonna be bringing you value just like this, all right? So I'm gonna give you, I've got some themes mapped out on uh, what I actually talk about. And I'm gonna give uh, screen freezes now and then. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't, I don't really know anything else I can do. I'm on Wi-Fi and it's got a full connection here. So I'm gonna talk about what I actually do, what I talk about, and, and that way you guys will, number one, know what to expect on Gloverscope, but also number two, if you're starting your own Periscope show, then you will know, this will give you some great ideas on how you can actually, uh, how you can uh, structure it, all right, and outline it. By the way, is the music too loud in the background? I, uh, I work with uh, Focus at Will. It's uh, focusatwill.com, and uh, I've, got it I've got the timer set, so when the timer goes off, I'll know that it's, uh, it's, it's running a little bit long and, and time to wrap up. All right, so this over here, this is my process that I use to be a consistent uh, content creator, a consistent scoper. So one of the keys to creating content and the key to making this model work up here is the free content has to be consistent. All right, it has to be consistent, period, end of story. If it's not consistent, you, it, it won't work, all right? period. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to show you my process of how I do it because let me tell you something, guys. I just write, I don't just sit down and write content. All right. I don't just sit down and look at a blank screen and think of an idea and start writing content. I have a process that I actually go through. Um, and matter of fact, I want to start with that process. Okay. So that process, and I tell you what, I think I know why it might be freezing. And sorry if it froze right then for a second. Um, you don't even hear music. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, so I'm going to leave it just like this. You're a content writer. That's awesome. So you'll be able to attest to, to this, and, and I'd love to hear your feedback as well, uh, Eddie. Eddie or Edie? Edie? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on this. So for me, here's my process. All right, the very first, and I, I apologize. This is. This is a sort of chicken scratch. Hopefully it's legible to you guys, um, but I'm gonna walk through everything. Um, okay, so number one, the first thing that I do is I have what's called scheduled blog storms, and I do this weekly on Friday mornings, all right? And what a, what a blog storm is, is it's an Evernote file that I keep in Evernote, and you guys want me, if, well, I tell you what, I'll show you my Evernote setup here in a little bit. Um, I just wanna make sure that I get through this content in a, rel in a relatively quick, quick time, so, uh, if we get through this, then I'll go back and I'll actually pull up the computer and show you how I organize my Evernote folders and stuff like that because Evernote is pretty much where all of this stuff is housed and, and all of it happens, all right? So, again, thanks for the hearts. Keep tapping the screen, guys. If we hit 30,000 hearts, then I'm going to give away a mic just like the one I am talking on right now to somebody here on the broadcast, all right? All right, so here we go. 
Um, scheduled blog storms. That, that happens weekly on Friday, Friday mornings, all right? And what that is is basically I just sit down and I brainstorm titles, blog titles, not blog topics, okay? The reason I do titles is because it's very, very specific, all right? It's three secrets to growing your Periscope audience. What seven millionaires say about YouTube or that type of thing, all right? By reading the title, you know exactly what the post is going to be about. That's the key to a blog storm. Make sure that you type, you, you brainstorm titles for blog posts and not topics, okay? And don't filter yourself whenever you sit down and do this, all right? Schedule 30 minutes or an hour and just brainstorm. I have, I looked earlier, I have over 140 titles that are sitting there right now from my brainstorms, okay? Do 25 at a time, then expand that to 50, expand it to 100, okay? And get at least a hundred uh, blog post titles that you can actually get. All right. The second thing that I do once I have the blog storm listed out, and I do these on Friday mornings. You know, and sometimes you'll, I'll just get a really good idea, and so I'll hop in there. Um, you know, it might be Tuesday at two o'clock. I'll hop into that blog storm document in Evernote, and I'll go ahead and uh, and just add you know two or three titles if I have a few mo few minutes or I think of a good idea. The second thing that I do is I outline, outline that post in Evernote. So I take the best titles, the, one that I wanna, the ones that I wanna work with, and I go into Evernote and I create a brand new note inside that folder. And I outline what that post would look like. So I now I have the title, the next thing I write are the, head, the headlines, and then I write the subheadlines, and then I write you know, two or three points for each one of the subheadlines. And if you think about in terms of blog posts, this is the like the H that would be like the H2 um, tags, all right? The the bigger font, sort of the page breaks in the content, the sections of content. Those are the those are the uh, the outline that I'm that I'm talking about. So I outline the post. When I outline the post, I don't write I don't write the write the actual content. I'm just outlining it. Okay, so ten minutes for each one of these maximum. All right. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to do some research. Then the next thing I do. Once I have it outlined, I put it on my schedule for Glover Scope, okay? And I just talk about it on a Glover Scope episode. And if I bump over here real quick, this is my Glover Scope schedule. So if you'll notice, I have Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, I actually uh, do, these, do these, um, these episodes. So Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, I talk about recent blog posts, all right? And up here, the blog schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Glover Scope episodes get put on the blog, okay? So the recordings of the Glover Scope episodes that I record over here, they, get, they go on the actual blog, they get repurposed, and they'll go on the blog Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all right? That's that part of the process. Once I've done a Glover Scope episode on it, I've talked about it, I've read through the outline, I'm familiar with the content, I've sort of crystallized it a little bit further in my head, my next step in the process is I develop a post, I develop that post in Evernote. All right, I build everything out in that one Evernote, uh, in that single note. And I, when I say develop the post, I've already got the outline. So this is when I log in and I, I write the intro, I write the outro, um, you know, the conclusion. I, uh, I elaborate, I bring in pictures, I, you know, I do the research, I, I, I fine tune and finalize the actual blog post, okay? And I do all of that inside of Evernote. Once it's there, I move it over to CoSchedule, my CoSchedule calendar. This is my editorial calendar where I organize all of my stuff. And you'll see here, this is pre-scheduled monthly. So every month I will pull up the CoSchedule calendar, my uh, editorial calendar, and I use that to schedule out all of my, uh, all of my content that I'm gonna be talking about week after week. Hey, somebody give me a heart count. Where are we at on hearts? How close are we? Um, the next thing that I do is once I've got it scheduled on CoSchedule, the next thing I do is I publish it on the blog. And I can, I can actually do this from within CoSchedule, so it's really, really cool. And then the, the, the final thing that I do, once it's published on the blog, within CoSchedule also, I do this as I actually uh, get the post set up to go live. CoSchedule has a thing in WordPress that allows me to say, okay, when this, pub, when this post goes live, um, I want you to, I connected like multiple Facebook accounts and pages and Facebook groups and Twitter accounts, LinkedIn accounts. Um, it'll take Google Plus, Instagram, Pinterest. 
it integrates with all of these different platforms, okay? So if you have those accounts, you just set them up once in CoSchedule, and then when you go to publish a blog post, you just, it's got a section on there, and it says, you just click on it and you say, okay, when, uh, when this post goes live, post it to every one of these platforms immediately. And then tomorrow for the next seven days, just post it to Twitter. Tweet about it, you know, and, and just, you know, spread out the times. And then I do that for the entire, um, awesome, great, glad you like it. Invite your followers. Tell some people. Okay, so the timer just went off. Uh, oh, I think I said it a little bit early. Anyway, so what I do is I actually schedule this 30 days out, okay? I schedule all of my promotion 30 days out. So I say, send it to all of my, my social platforms immediately when it's posted, then send it um, every day for the, tweet about it every day for the next week, and then in one week, post it to all of my Facebook pages again, and then in one month, post it to everything one more time, all right? <laughs> so yes, Ken, thank you so much. He said, if you're getting value from this, then get to the 500 heart mark. You guys can add 500 hearts by tapping the screen 500 times, and uh, then you can hop out of the broadcast and jump right back in and add 500 more. And if we get to, I think it was 194, uh, so 200,000 hearts uh, collectively, then uh, actually it says 30K. So I might, if we get there, I might have to still give one away. I'm not sure. But I'm going to give you guys a mic that, uh, that I'm currently using, which is a Rode mic. It's a little Smart Love mic. All right, so this is my process for creating content and being a more consistent scoper. Now, if you guys are following me, then you'll see probably... I don't know, it might be might be later on this week, um, possibly the weekend, who knows. But I know for a fact I will be doing a detailed blog post and Cleverscope episode on this piece of content right here, okay? So this will eventually be, so it's, this started as a blog storm, then I've got the post outlined in Evernote, then eventually I'm gonna talk about it on Cleverscope, I'm gonna develop that post a little bit further, I'm gonna get it published on the blog and promote it. Okay, just this right here. So my seven step process for being a more consistent content creator. Matter of fact, I think that is coming up tomorrow or the next day, maybe Saturday. I'm not sure what today is. So yeah, so make sure that you're following me on Periscope. Make sure that you tap the, uh, the guy in the bottom right or swipe up if you're on an Android, swipe to the right if you're on an iPhone and make sure that you're following me because you'll get the notifications when I actually go live. All right, so that is that. That is the schedule. What else do you, and co-schedule, those of you that are wondering, um, these are just random links. So results513.com forward slash co-schedule. All right, that's the first, that's the count, the content, um, uh, the content platform that I actually use. Okay, next thing that I want to talk about is my actual uh, schedule right here. And this is my overall schedule. Okay, so five o'clock in the morning, I use a, uh, an app called Sleep Cycle. Now, the Sleep Cycle app, I can tell it, wake me up between 4.30 and 5 a.m. or wake me up between 5 and 5.30 or between 6 and 6.30 or whatever. All right, mine is set between 4.30 and 5 a.m. Now, what's interesting about the Sleep Cycle and why I like it is because it's, it, it's an app on my phone and I just, I set my phone face down on my pill or on my bed next, in, in my bed next to my head um, or under the pillow or whatever. Uh, it shows you how to use it, and what it does is it measures uh, how restless your sleep is and how good of a uh, good sleep you're getting. And so, sometime between 4:30 and 5, whenever I am sleeping the lightest, and it will be easiest for me to wake up, the alarm will go off. All right. Now, I do have a backup alarm that I set for 5:01 a.m. just in case uh, that the the um, sleep cycle alarm sort of gradually wakes you up with some soft music, and sometimes. I push the button and, and go right to sleep, go go back to sleep or don't hear it or, or whatever. So I do have a backup alarm uh, up here. All right. So 501, that alarm goes off, and uh, from 501 to 707 is my what I call my miracle morning time. And I have six activities that I do. Um, I've got a routine that I go. I you know I go for a run. Um, lots of different stuff. I'm not going to go into detail there. Uh, I've done a I've done a, some content in the past about my uh, about my miracle morning. I've actually journaled. Um, with you guys here on Periscope early in the morning before. I'm going to be doing another really detailed post in the future on how to actually do that. Okay, So that is from 501 to 707. That is my time. Nobody gets that except me. All right, It's my time to, to gear up for the day, to get my mind right, 
um, to get my my energy right, to get my you know to get woke up and to just have get ready to have an awesome day. So I know that even if I don't do anything else, the day is going to be really great because I, I put in the time for myself first thing in the morning. The next thing I do, 7:07 to 10 o'clock starts my office routine number one. Now. I've got that broken down and I actually use Google Calendar so I have this marked out on my calendar and it says office routine number one and inside of there and I showed you guys earlier that we're on the earlier broadcast I showed you guys um, that we're, we're actually walked through that and how detailed it is I'm gonna be doing a full specific detail of what I do the first three hours essentially what I'm doing is right here I'm creating blog content and I'm writing or actually I'm creating and publishing blog content and publishing it on the blog and scheduling out 30 days of distribution okay so in the mornings I will write I'll develop a post I will move it over to the calendar I publish it I publish the post that's ready to go and I write the promotion for it those are the things that I'm doing every morning from 707 to 10 a.m. all right usually on the drive into the office I'll do a, a little periscope broadcast as well uh, those have been going well lately so the next thing from 10 to 12 I usually take a break sometimes it's family time I leave the office whatever it is sometimes it'll be like 11 o'clock uh, 1130 I, you know I'll work for 30 minutes in inside of this two-hour block sometimes but two hours is is a good little chunk of time just sort of take a break and come back re-energize and then just go at it from 12 10 to 1 and that 50 minute chunk of time is make Glover scope better well you're like, well, what do you do to, to make Glover Scope better? Those are things like create links, create forms. Um, if you, I'll give you an example. If you go to results513.com forward slash PeriQuest, P-E-R-I-Q-U-E-S-T, you, it's just a form that I set up that you can leave feedback for the show. You can make requests, anything that you want to see or, or hear me talk about or teach here on this show. Um, you can actually do that right there. So. I, I had to set that link up. I had to create the pre-link. Those are the type of things that I do to make the show better. Also things like brainstorming new content ideas, new themes, um, all kinds of different stuff. All right, working out joint ventures, all, all, that, all that stuff. All right, so that's from 12, uh, 12, 10 to 1. From 1 to 2, I actually do, that's, that's currently when I do my Glover Scope episode, which is about 30 minutes, and then I do my daily stats, all right? From two to three, I write and queue up tomorrow's email. And from uh, 3.30 to four is open time. So that's a 30 minute segment where I can do you know, meetings if I have to squeeze them in, uh, take a break if, if the day's just overwhelming, um, or, or work on additional projects. Right now, uh, this says podcast script. So one example project, we're, we're launching a, my business partner and I, Brenda, we're launching a podcast called The Perfect Offer Podcast. Um, in the next couple of weeks and right now we've got everything done except the the intro and the outro scripts and we just got to record those so that's what I'm working on right now during that chunk of time I've got the next three days blocked out to actually work on that script all right so from four to five I go for a swim or bike I'm training for a triathlon and so I run in the mornings uh, I've been running at night lately too um, and then usually during the day from four to five I will go either for a swim or ride a bike all right, from five to eight, that's open time. Um, I'm out of the office. Sometimes I work. If if my family is available and we can do some, I can do something with them. That's what I usually. That's what we usually end up doing. Um, sometimes, you know, my my wife has has plans. She'll go somewhere, or my daughter's asleep, or you know, or whatever. And so sometimes I do end up working during that time. But it's always from home. It's never at the office, um, except right now. Uh, I came in just because I promised you guys that I would do, I'd, I'd be doing this later. All right. Um, so that's my open time. All right. Five to eight. Eight to 10 is family time. Nothing else, just family time. 10 to 10.30, I journal. 10.30 is my nightly ritual and uh, it starts all over the next day. So that is what my day looks like. All right. So keep an eye on where we're at on the hearts uh, as well. Somebody give me an update when you get a minute. Okay, so that is that. The next thing that I want to talk about is the email schedule. Okay, so this is the blog schedule. This is Monday, Monday through Sunday. So every day, the goal is to publish a new piece of blog content. So Monday, what do, what do I publish? Because that's the next question. Well, okay, well, what do I actually publish? All this content that's getting created, what do, what's my schedule? All right, so 173, that's good. 
All right, so we still got some work to do. You guys can uh, can just keep tapping away, tapping, 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 tapping. All right, so cool. If you guys are getting value, type one. Type in, actually, no, let's just don't do one. Let's think of another cool word. All right, so type in, I don't know, type in your favorite word. And the first one that I see, everybody will get to type that in. Somebody give me a, a, a good word to type in. Permission, per, persimmon. All right, everybody type in persimmon if you're getting value from this. <laughs> People are going to be able to spell it. Buzz, super. Okay, anyway, I get it. I get it. You guys, you guys getting it. Okay, lots of different words. <laughs> no worries, man. That's fun. Okay, so what is my nightly ritual? I will explain that uh, at another time on another scope. Make sure you're following me uh, because I do have that on the calendar to, uh, to be talking about and share with you guys. Okay, so here's the blog schedule. On Mondays, I publish a Glover Scope episode. On Wednesdays, I publish a Glover Scope episode. On Fridays, I publish a Glover Scope episode. Tuesdays is open. Thursdays is open. Sundays is open. Saturday, I have this podcast. It's called the Marketing Minute Podcast. That's when I publish it. And the, that basically, I do it on Saturdays as a look back on the week. And the, the, uh, the lessons that I've learned and uh, you know anything that's happened, I, that's when I actually, uh, when I do that. Okay. <laughs> Amaze balls. <laughs> that's a, that's a good word. That may be my word going forward. I don't know. Um, okay. So that is the blog schedule. That's what I will be posting in terms of what goes on the blog. All right. Now I've left a few open here. Why? Because this is new. All right, guys, let me give you a little secret. All right. I've, I've built a business. Um, I built two businesses past the seven figure mark. And one of the secrets is you cannot be a perfectionist. All right, you just cannot be a perfectionist. The name of the podcast is the Marketing Minute Podcast. All right, the Marketing Minute Podcast. Just go to iTunes. You can search for Justin Glover, and it should come right back up. All right, my blog is right here, results513.com/blog. This one, where'd my finger go? My finger. Wow, results513.com/blog. Boom. All right. So. That's the schedule for the blog. Now, one of the other pieces of my success formula, all right, my uh, what Eben Pagan calls the inevitable success plan. And guys, the title of this post is how to make a million bucks. So when it comes to how, like, you're looking thinking, okay, well, how do I make a million bucks? Well, number one, I do this. I make sure that I follow this every day, follow this schedule. Number two, I make sure that everything we do lines up with this up here. Number three, I make sure that I follow this schedule and publish blog content. Number four, I make sure that I email the list on a regular basis. Here is my email schedule. It's very easy. On Tuesday, I tell you about what I posted yesterday on the blog. On Wednesday, I tell you what I posted Tuesday on the blog. On Thursday, I tell you what I posted on Wednesday on the blog. All right, now also on Wednesday, this is this goes to an open post, so that gives me some flexibility. All right, it gives us the opportunity to do promotions, to do um, other stuff that comes up sort of on the fly. Uh, also, I I usually push on Wednesdays. I push to an application. All right, we have uh, an inner circle program um, where we actually work one on one with some with some people that are serious and, and ready to run, and uh, so I send people to results513.com forward slash apply. And uh, that's, that's sort of where I push. That way we've got some, some solid applications coming in on a regular basis. All right, so Thursday, I email about yesterday. Friday, I tell you about Thursday's post. Saturday, I tell you about Friday's post. Sunday, I tell you about Saturday's post. And then Monday, I tell you about Sunday's post. Okay, so that is the formula for my, my email schedule. Now, that there, there's some flexibility with email. I've been doing email marketing for a long, long, long time. I've built many, many lists in, in the tens and, and even I, I built well over, probably had over, over half a million um, opt-ins over the, in, in different markets over the course of, uh, well, ever since 2009 when I started this and started actually building a list. Um, so all of that, only 500 more hearts so far. All right, that's awesome. So 500 more, you can, you can hop in or hop out and come back in. Um, so those of you that are, are still tapping, if, if, uh, if you are over 500 hearts, jump out of the broadcast, jump right back in, and you can go right back to tapping. Otherwise, you, anything that you leave over 500 doesn't count toward the total. I don't know, it's not my rule, it's Periscope rules, I'm sorry. 
Um, but you won't miss anything. I'll do plenty of recaps. Plus, I kind of talk slow, so um, it's not a big deal. What's whiteboard? What white? What's whiteboard on Glover Scope schedule? Okay, so Glover Scope schedule. That's where we're at right now. So Monday through Sunday, every day I do a uh, a Glover Scope and give some value. Now, here's what this actually looks like. <clears throat> Before I tell you why this is important, this is one of the the most important pieces to make all of this work, all right? It's all about creating content and providing value in the content piece. However, so, well, not however, but what we have decided to do for our content is we've decided to use plat or Periscope as the platform. So I'm doing these broadcasts daily, growing this, growing this Periscope audience, and here's what happens, all right? Um, the recent blog post on Monday, so I publish a blog post up here. So there's always a recent blog post and I leave these open as well. I give, the, I give me, give myself, um, a few open days where I can just talk about, uh, requests that people want, um, things that are on my mind, uh, that sort of stuff. All right. If I don't have anything on my mind, I default back to a recent blog post because there's plenty of blog content up here that's getting published. I just go pick one of those or go over here and pick, pick one of these posts that I've got outlined in Evernote and I've got a, I've got a topic. All right. Simple as that. So that's on Monday and Tuesday. Whiteboard is on Wednesday. Wednesday is Whiteboard Wednesday. What's on the Whiteboard Wednesday? This is what you're looking at. This is the episode that you're watching currently. All right, next week, there'll be some new stuff on the Whiteboard and I'll show you that. All right, because I'm, I'm always writing. I take pictures. I organize these, these screenshots and I'm always just brain dumping on here. And um, I, I'll leave the best stuff on here for you guys and cover it on Wednesday. So that's what Whiteboard Wednesday is. Um, Thursday is Throwback Thursday. And uh, here's, let me see. So I have the stack of notebooks. I'm not going to show you because they're under my desk and my desk is messy. <laughs> um, that's lame, I know. But uh, I have this stack of notebooks. It's, I don't know, probably about three foot tall. All right, screw it. I'll show you. Check it out. So here's the stack of notebooks. All right. Every one of these are notebooks that I got from uh, different events. So like here's a journal that I got from Evan Pagan's event. All right. Notes after notes after notes after notes. This was a $12,000 event that we paid for. <laughs> you see that? It's one of the things that my wife does is she'll come through my, my notebooks sometimes and leave me these little sticky notes and then I find them later. Um, okay. So this is a $12,000 event called uh, Accelerate. All right. I've got lots and lots of binders just full of notes. All right. Lots. So on Thursdays, we do throwback Thursday where I pull out one of those notebooks and I just deliver some gold. All right. Now think about doing that. If you're producing content, it's very easy. All right. You've got the notes, just open your notebook and you've got content to teach. All right, guys, I'm a little worried. I only see two colored hearts. I'm not sure if you guys are going to hit it with, with uh, only two, two different colored hearts here. Make sure you're tapping the screen. If you want to hit that goal. Okay. So old notebooks is on Thursdays. Friday is follow Friday. That's when I'm going to start highlighting. And that starts this Friday, by the way, today is the first whiteboard Wednesday. Tomorrow is the first uh, throwback Thursday tomorrow. And Friday is the first follow Friday. This is a brand new schedule. Literally just started today. Friday. What is follow Friday? Um, well, essentially that's where I, I've, I've been watching a lot of scopers for about two months now. Um, watching them broadcast, learning from them, seeing how they do things, how many times they broadcast, what time of day they broadcast. I've been getting on the broadcast and communicating with them, um, seeing how many people are live, how many people share, how many people, how many hearts they have, and tracking all of this stuff. And I've learned a lot. And so what Follow Friday is, is I, I, I highlight my favorite Periscopers. Um, that's essentially the, the idea. Uh, I'm excited to see how Follow Friday actually plays out. All right. I know that it has to do with me talking about someone else. I might get creative just because follow Friday, just, just firing it up and talking about the same thing, you know, talking about somebody that's kind of boring. So I might actually get creative and, and do some stuff. I got some ideas for, for that, but for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. And then again, Saturday and Sunday, I sort of have it open. All right. As in a recent blog post for, uh, for the, uh, the fallback. All right, now let me tell you why that is sort of the, the most important part in my opinion. There is a day for Q and A's, I love that. Um, I, I do have, I, 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 let's see, I think on two of these days, 
my my thought was, and I haven't actually written this down. My thought was, I'll just sort of do um, Q and A at the end of of a couple of these. I don't know. I've thought about doing some live coaching. I'm like I said, I'm totally open to whatever you guys are the audience, you guys control the show. So if you go to results513.com slash periquest, P-E-R-I, as in Periscope, P-E-R-I-Q-U-E-S-T. If you'll go there, please submit, actually, I'm asking you, please go there and submit your uh, your requests. And because uh, that's that's how I will, that, that will shape this show. All right, it'll, it'll determine what I talk about, how often I talk about it. And uh, if you guys love it, I will continue doing it. If you hate it, I'll cut it out. All right. So all of this can change <laughs> just so you know. Um, okay. So that is that. And today, earlier I broadcast, um, a, uh, a stream from, uh, in here in the, in the other part of my office where we were watching the Apple announcement where they were releasing the new iPad and the new Apple TV and all of that. So it's the big sort of reveal that they do on, on their launches. And I heard Alex Pettit talk about this yesterday and What's happened is, I, is Apple is adding Periscope onto their Apple TV. All right, all Apple TVs going here forward will have the Periscope app installed on them. Here's why that's huge. All right, pay attention to this. Imagine sitting down and watching your favorite TV show, tuning into a TV show, and being able to interact and affect the TV show. All right, if, if you're watching your favorite TV show and it happens to be streaming live and you can type in a comment and see your name on the, on the screen or in, in the people can, and you can literally ask them a question and they will answer it live on live TV, that would be really, really cool. Well, I'll tell you what, live streaming, whether it's with Periscope or with Facebook mentions or with Meerkat or any other, other platform that comes out in the future, I absolutely believe with everything <laughs> that live streaming is the future of TV. Okay? Live streaming is the future of TV. And the fact that Apple just picked up Periscope and Periscope is going to be, they, they've updated their remote so it's easier, so you'll be able to type easier. Um, I would assume that there will probably be another update in remote coming out as, as this goes out. They didn't actually talk about the Periscope app today. They just talked about the fact that they were getting new apps. And when they were scrolling through there, I did see the picture of the little Periscope icon. So it's absolutely in there. It's for sure in there. Um, but they didn't actually, I didn't see them say anything about it. Okay. So that's the reason I believe that creating your own type of Periscope show is vitally, vitally important. If you guys, you guys, if you want to build a business, if you want to make a million bucks, you got to build an audience and then you got to follow this four step formula down here with that audience. Once I, uh, once you have them, right? And I'm, we're almost to that part. So, uh, so definitely stay tuned. Okay. <coughs> Let me grab a drink of water. You guys getting value? I'm going to assume yes. Type in your favorite word. If you're getting value, value one word, all caps. Yes. We got yes. One word, all caps, if you are getting value. <clears throat> hey, also, awesome, rock, super, just joined, money, silly. All right, so those of you that just joined, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. My name is Justin Glover. I am a CEO. We got a ball, diamonds, hogs. What is this? Beer. Ooh, who is beer? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so for intro. So, hi, guys, those of you that just joined, my name is Justin Glover. I am a entrepreneur, a father, a husband, a blogger, a podcaster, a triathlon participant. And uh, I teach people how to build businesses that they enjoy, businesses that make them a lot of money, businesses that run on autopilot without doing that, without banging your head against the wall, because there's a lot of that going on in the business world. All right. Basically, I teach people how to go from being good entrepreneurs to great entrepreneurs. So that's who I am. That's what I do. And every single day I do broadcast right here on this Periscope channel. So what I want you to do, if you are new here, click on the button, that guy right there. His name is Carl, by the way. And if you hear anybody else like call him anything other than Carl, it's okay. They're just, they're just confused. Kindly let them know that his name is Carl. Justin said his name's Carl. They'll understand. All right. Anyway, click on that guy. And uh, it'll pop up. Make sure that you're following me and you'll get notifications every time I do these broadcasts. I do them daily. I just give lots and lots of value. All right. So 
I was talking about the Glover Scope TV show, all right? And those of you that are considering doing a TV show, I highly, highly recommend it. Or turning, tr thinking, think about your Periscope channel as a TV show. And if you haven't done a broadcast yet, that's okay. I want you to do a broadcast, all right? Go over to right here, results513.com slash blog. Go to this link right here. And when you go there, the last couple of posts, I actually talk about Periscope. And um, one of them, I teach you a really cool joint venture strategy, how you can use uh, Periscope as a joint venture strategy and do essentially like an ad swap, but you're doing it with, uh, with Periscope. All right, so I talk about that and I also show you how to get set up with Periscope and, and screenshots and all that good stuff. So go check that out on the blog if you haven't done your first broadcast yet and, um, and, uh, and do your first broadcast, all right? The first one is you just gotta do it, all right? Okay, where's the million? We're almost there. I will. So here's, here's how you make the million, all right? I'm explaining these different concepts, all right? I talked about my process right here for creating consistent content. I talked about the overall business model up here, send paid ads to free content, which then grows my Periscope audience, grows my email list, gets people to register for our weekly webinar, all of which make us money, okay? So it starts with free content consistently. This is how I, ma I consistently make the free content. That's my process. I also covered my personal schedule. So what I do literally from the moment I wake up at 5.01 till the time I go to bed, the other thing we covered is the blog schedule. So this is my content publishing schedule. I publish every single day. There's a new blog post, Glover Scope episodes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, open on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And on Saturday, I do I, uh, a Marketing Minute podcast. I have actually, I've, I've built two companies past the seven figure mark. Um, so, so yes, I, I have. And I am currently, uh, I have a business called Results 513 with a partner, Brenda Gagne. We partnered up uh, a little over two years ago. Last year was our first real year and we made roughly half a million dollars just sort of goofing off. Um, so that's, that's sort of the, the spiel. Um, and how do you make, how does that tie into making a million bucks? We've still got the formula down here, the four step formula. I've got a couple other things that I want to run through really quick, but how you, how do you take this and make a million bucks from it? Here's how you do it. You, you, create consistent content following this formula, all right? Email, you've got the, the email, I've got the content creation, I've, I've given you that. I make a million bucks by making sure that I do this every day. I make a million bucks by making sure that I, everything we do follows this business model, all right? I make a million bucks by making sure that I stick to this blog schedule, all right? So Eben Pagan, one of the things that I, I told you that $12,000 seminar um, that I went to, one of the things that I, I heard him say is create an, an inevitable success plan. Basically what that means is when, when I, if like, this is my inevitable success plan, I know that if I do this every day, if I follow this model, if I publish these blog posts, if I do this, if I follow this Glover scope schedule and I do these four steps, then it's inevitable that I will have success. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So where was I at? Where was I at? Oh, and by the way, those of you that are new, if you tap on the screen, you can leave hearts. If we get to 200,000 hearts total, um, then I am going to give you guys, uh, somebody here on the broadcast, I'm going to give you guys a Rode mic. It's the Rode mic, the, the smart lob mic that, uh, that I am talking on right now. So the audio is a lot better than just, just talking on the phone. All right. Justin is for real. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. So the next thing that I want to talk about is, well, here's a little piece of, of content up here. And this is just sort of a random thing that I had written down, but this is whiteboard. What's on the whiteboard Wednesday? And this is on the whiteboard, so I'm going to share it. Okay, so this is something that I was, um, I seem legit. I don't know, man. I, I would second guess me. I'm, I'm just like halfway legit. <laughs> I'm legit sometimes. No, I'm, you, you, anybody, you can ask anybody, man. I, I, I care like crazy. So uh, I appreciate, appreciate all you guys and, and we'll, uh, Dev too legit. Oh man, not, oh, I tell you what, I'm opening with that song, Too Legit, tomorrow. Tomorrow, you guys show up because MC Hammer is the opening act. <laughs> All right, I, I actually saw that video. It's funny you mentioned that. I saw that video today. All right, back to it. So this is just an idea. Let's see, what does this say? Create content that makes them want to follow me on Periscope. Okay, so here's where this comes from. I told you that my, my plan is to create regular content. One of the reasons that I create that is I need that content to build my Periscope audience. So 
I come over here and I say, what kind of content can I create that makes them want to follow me on Periscope? Okay, makes sense. Here's, here's the different things that, that would need to happen. Number one, tell them about past scopes that they missed. So here's an example of that. Two days ago, I did a post on in detail of my, my entire schedule. All right. Last week, I did, a, I did a live broadcast where I was in Dallas. I went to Six Flags and me and my partner, I live, I live streamed me riding the Texas Giant roller coaster. Okay. So if you weren't following me then, you missed those. Okay. So that's an example. Tell them about past scopes that you missed. That makes you want to follow me, right? It, it increases the desire. The next thing is talk about upcoming scopes to watch out for. I've done that multiple times tonight. I've told you I'm going to be going into this in more detail in a future scope. I'm going to be going into this more detail. I'm going to be going into this in, in more detail, how to be a consistent scoper in uh, literally it's either tomorrow or the next day or Saturday. I'm going to be doing, creating that. So make sure you're following me so that you can get notified and do that. Okay. So that's what I'm doing right here. Tell them about upcoming scopes they're going to miss. Hello. I appreciate it. So those of you that are new, I appreciate you showing up. My name is Justin Glover. Be sure to click on the, uh, the guy in the bottom right hand corner to make sure you're following me so that you can get to all of your broadcast. All right. Um, the next thing is, uh, lots of money can be made on Periscope and I teach my secrets plus the best way to learn is watch. Okay. So here's, here's what that is. Um, basically I tell people, uh, Hey, I've, you know, there's a lot of money here to be made on Periscope. So if you want to use it, then I, I recommend it. If you're, if you're building a business, you should use Periscope. So I actually did a blog post. I'm following this advice right up here. If you go to results513.com slash blog, I actually did a post where I give you reasons that you need to be using Periscope if you're a business owner. So I create content that lets people know, Hey, you know what? There's a lot of money to be made on Periscope. Plus, I teach all of my secrets. I'm going all in on Periscope and I'm going to teach you everything that I do. I'm going to show you what works. I'm going to show you what doesn't work. That's an example of it. All right. Plus let's just be real. The absolute best way to learn is to watch people, to spy on them. So follow me just to spy. See how often do I broadcast? What do I talk about? What's my process? Watch the process guys. Okay. So that's example of, uh, creating content that makes you want to follow me. The next one is, uh, public shout outs to new followers. All right. Do something cool for anybody that follows you. All right. That's another, the honey badger. I love it. <laughs> um, so do something cool for people that follow you. All right. T you can, t you can do public shout outs on Twitter. You can do whatever you want. All right. If you're getting, if you're getting followers, do something cool for your followers. All right. Bribe them, bribe them with a gift to follow you. That's an option. Tell them that, uh, they're not supposed to miss the Periscope boat. If the, the Periscope is going to be big and they don't need to miss it. So I haven't done, I haven't bribed with gifts yet uh, for followers. However, I'm bribing with, with a gift right now for hearts. If we hit 200,000 hearts by the end of this broadcast, I'm going to be giving you guys, um, giving somebody on this Periscope uh, the same mic that I am talking on right now, which is a Rode Smart Love mic. Okay. So I've done uh, this one. I did a blog post the other day to tell them that I miss Periscope. I did prizes. Yay. I did, um, this blog post up here. I told you about, uh, past scopes. I've told you about upcoming scopes. I've, I did a blog post where I said, Hey, there's a lot of money to be made. I'm going to teach you. So go follow me. These are the only two that in this that I haven't done so far. All right. Public shout outs. I haven't figured out what I want to do yet. And, uh, I haven't figured out bribes. So I'm going to be doing a post next week on how to do, uh, how to run Periscope contests. All right. 178,000, uh, hearts. So let's see, it looks like we still got some work to do. Um, those of you that are over 500 hearts hop out of the broadcast and then jump right back in because I think, uh, it only takes only 500 actually count. Okay. So we're almost done guys. Um, let's move over to this picture. I want to show you this actually picture. Where can you see the number? You can swipe to the right and click on my name and it'll pull it up and my, my, the number of followers will, will be right underneath that. If you're on Android, you'll need to swipe from the bottom to the top. Or if you're on here live, you can just click on Carl. He's the guy on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right. So here is sort of the first diagram that I drew out. Not a problem, man. So Glover scope, um, 1 PM daily, 
and we also have Brenda Scope, which Brenda is my, my business partner. Um, she does she does Periscopes as well. She doesn't do them daily because her role in our partnership is she's the one that takes care of all this. All right, I create some content and funnel people into our funnels that we both built out. I handle the content, she handles the ads. So everybody that lands on any of our pages, we drop cookies on them and then she serves up ads. We follow them around on the internet and say, hey, go, we know you like this kind of content. Um, well, actually you don't have to have a large audience. So anyway, that's the, that's the process right there. So you don't have to have a large audience. Um, obviously the larger it is, the easier it is. Responsive is the the main word. Okay, um, I used to just I used to participate in a lot of affiliate contests. I made my first half million dollars before I ever even created a product. Um, I was selling affiliate products, and oh sorry sorry I will slow down so it, it blurs when I move fast. So I was creating affiliate products, and um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I was just crushing people on affiliate contests. So I didn't have. Um, I didn't have a very big list at all, but I was really like, they were really, really effective. All right. They, they were really responsive. So I would send out an email and you know, my list of like 4,000 people would be, was beating people like, uh, that had lists of 50 and a hundred thousand people. All right. Okay. So it says low battery. So I'm going to have to make a change once I get my next notification. All right. So here it is the Glover scope, the Periscope content. I told you earlier that leads to our email list. Okay. Yes, I will. The email list leads to sort of one of our different things. All right. I told you there's some flexibility in what we actually promote. So for us, we have a few things. All right. We've got uh, free shipping, free, free plus shipping offers. So if you go to, uh, if you want to see an example of this, you can go to results513.com slash blueprint. All right. We have what's called the off, the perfect offer blueprint. Now, the perfect offer blueprint, what that actually is, that is a free piece of paper. Matter of fact, I'll show you what it is. It's right here. Sorry. I know I'm going fast. This is the perfect offer blueprint. Whenever I, I go to create a, um, whenever I go to create an actual product to sell on a webinar, like a $500 product, I pull this piece of paper out. I go through these questions. Here's the core offers. I, I follow all of this. All right. These are the seven core offer values that the offer has to have. So anybody that has anybody that has an offer that you sell in a webinar, you need to make sure that that offer meets all of these criteria. All right. We talk about the top three objections, the, um, the, ne the needs and wants of your customers, we talk about fast action bonuses, limited bonuses, how to price them, how to value them. Um, and then we put some totals on here. We add up the core part. We add up the, the master class, the, uh, the training, figure out the delivery format. This is all you need to create the perfect offer to sell in a webinar. Okay. So, Moving back over here, that is what I mean when I say free plus shipping offers. Okay. So essentially what that is, is a physical CD that we ship out to you. We, we physically ship you the, the blueprint plus you get the digital version after the fact, but we send, we send you a, a, an hour long training. Uh, yeah, I will hold steady on this. Okay. So you guys can pause for the cause and take a screenshot of that. If you want to, these are the different links that I've talked about so far tonight. Dun, 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 dun. All right, five, four, three, two, screenshot. Okay. And we'll do one more right here. If you guys want it. Okay, so there you go. So Periscope broadcast to email list, email list to other other offers. The main one being right here. Hey, go join our, uh, go join our, our webinar. We do a live webinar every Thursday. That's where the majority of our money comes from. We also email, like I said, on Wednesdays, I push people to the application. Then we have a phone team that follows up with them. More money comes from there. Then we have content. So the email list, I, I told you I mail to the blog. So that's the content. When people hit the content, we end up, they end up buying some of our front end offers. We make money that way. Then they're on the email list. Any other affiliate promos, things like that. We make money from that. Okay. Now on paid ads, here's sort of our, our advertising strategy. We have the results 513 fan page on Facebook. Now, when it comes to paid ads, and this is sort of our, our breakdown, um, the paid ads, we send, Brenda sends paid ads to the free plus shipping offers. We also have a guy that sends paid ads to our live weekly webinars. We also send, spend a part of our money on growing our fan page. Because as our fan page grows, 
we can then retarget those people and say, hey, don't forget to go buy this thing or go opt in for this thing or go register for this webinar or whatever, okay? And it's very, it, it's a lot cheaper because they're already fans of us. So that's sort of the strategy there. Um, we also have uh, some other offers, you know, different programs that we can promote for different things. All right, so here's another really cool thing. And this, this comes in to play with this right here, all right? You're probably wondering what this is. Yeah, make sure you guys go follow Brenda. This is my business partner. Everybody on this broadcast, um, Brenda, type in some emojis. Like type in some emojis to the, uh, to the broadcast. And when you guys see the broadcast, stop tapping the screen, tap on Brenda's name when she types it in, and uh, it'll pop up a little box and click, click on follow. No, you can do Facebook ads, you can do um, banner retargeting, you can do all kinds of stuff. She's actually working on ads right now. So that's her, that she just typed that in. You guys click on her name and then make sure you're following her. All right, cool. So what does this mean right here? One show equals seven shows. <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets really cool. Okay, so check this out. You guys remember the Glover Scope schedule? This is freaking leverage. You guys like leverage? You, all right, man, this could be a freaking product on its own. All right, so I'm gonna tell you anyway. So the Glover Scope schedule, every day, the idea here is there's going to be a new theme, all right? I told you that I'm, I'm, I'm starting off slow because I, want, I don't want to just sit down and create, um, you know, what I think you guys are going to want. Kind <laughs> of follow me because I'm prettier than Justin. All right, I take it back. Um, nobody go follow Brenda. <laughs> all right, so right now I have the Whiteboard Wednesday, which is what we're doing right now, and I also have the Throwback Thursday and Follow Friday. So these are the three quote unquote themes that I currently have, all right? So there's that. Now, whenever I have a new theme for all seven days, all right, so Monday is its own TV show, Tuesday is its own TV show, Wednesday is its own TV show, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday could essentially be their own TV show. And Glover Scope as a whole is its own seven day a week TV show. So I create one TV show following certain themes and then each one of those themes then gets repurposed over here on YouTube in the form of recorded periscopes and they become their own TV show. Every theme is its own show. So I have Glover Scope, which is seven days a week. Then I have whatever my theme is for Monday, which is a Monday show. So say it's a motivational theme. So I would have a motivation Monday show. I would have, you know, Wednesday, a whiteboard Wednesday show. So at the end of every Wednesday episode, I would say, hey guys, if you'd like this, I do, I have every single Wednesday, I publish over here on YouTube, I publish these episodes um, where I go through and I, I just outline everything that's on my whiteboard. So that then becomes over time, that becomes, you, you have people start tuning into the YouTube channel and actually like waiting on that show when it comes out, okay? So the purpose of all YouTube periscopes, all of the periscopes that get repurposed and put on YouTube, the purpose of all of the videos that get put up there is to grow the periscope audience as well as the email list. So there will be links that say, hey, if you like this, this is just the recording. You missed the whole episode. Come and actually watch the next broadcast. Follow me on Periscope so you can watch the next broadcast live, okay? Because the YouTube videos show up in Google. The YouTube videos are optimized to find people when they're searching and push them back to Glover Scope. It's also to push them back to results513.com where they can join our email list or buy our perfect offer or whatever, okay? So that's the strategy for how we're repurposing Periscope. 184,000 hearts. So that means we've done 20,000 hearts so far, 10,000 more, and we'll do a giveaway. All right? 10,000 more, let's get to 194. Matter of fact, you guys get to 194, you can get to um, 200. You can do it. Okay, so a couple of rules for this little piece. Um, all themed scopes go on YouTube. So all of the scopes that I mentioned that, that are different themes, we're gonna put them on YouTube. Not the full episodes, just 10 minutes. I wrote 10 minutes-ish. So whatever the content is, um, there's always going to, on Periscope, there's gonna be an intro period where you ask you know, people to follow you and you, you let the audience talk and you're engaging with them and, and just letting people come in, all right? Once the audience gets there and they're ready, then you get into the content and then there's usually some Q&A afterwards. At least that's my 
um, what I'm seeing from all the most successful periscopers, and that's my, my plan, what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna be editing those down. Those get edited, and I publish just the content, so it's valuable stuff right there on YouTube, all right, not the full episodes. And I tell them, hey, if you want the full episode, you can do it here. Yes, a timer, I, I, I was actually looking for a timer today. I'm gonna to start implementing one tomorrow, I believe. All right, uh, only official broadcast, not teasers. So sometimes during the week, you guys will see me do like a, a morning scope on the drive-in, and I'll tell you, hey, tonight or today on Glover Scope at one o'clock, I'm gonna be showing you how to do X, Y, Z. So make sure that you're following me, make sure you tune in, make sure that you're by your phone because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this, all right? Uh, is this webinar going to be repeating at a late start? So tune in. Um, it will, the, the replay will be here. I don't know that I'll repeat this exact one. Uh, I will be recording this though, more than likely, and, uh, and, uh, and doing it because it has been a, a, good, a good little broadcast so far and I'm, I'm lacking the content, so I'm gonna repurpose it. Um, yeah, and you can catch the replay for 24 hours. So definitely do that because the first, first few minutes were, were a lot of fun and you can see uh, sort of what we got going on here. Okay, so I've covered pretty much everything on the board except the four steps, all right? So here's where the four steps come in. And essentially, the four steps break down this piece right here, all right? I told you that the free content, the ads go to our free content, which does, it grows our Periscope audience, grows our email list, which makes us money, and it gets people to register for our weekly webinars, all right? If you guys go to results513.com, there'll be, like, there's a pop-up there that we, push people to the weekly webinar. If you go to the blog, there's a pop-up there. We push people to the webinar, all right? So let me go through these links real quick. This is the actual registration link for our, our webinar that we do every Thursday night. Um, I think tonight's Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah, tonight's Wednesday. Um, I usually go to happy hour, my friend called me, so I know it's Wednesday. So tomorrow night, we're doing a webinar. You can go to results513.com slash webinar dash registration. We're actually going to be teaching how to do good webinars, okay? Because as you're about to see in this four-step process, knowing how to do a good webinar is the key, all right? So here's, here's the links, just to recap. Results513.com slash co-schedule. That's what I actually use to plan all of my content, manage my editorial calendar, and pre-schedule all of the content distribution. It makes it super easy. It's the best tool that I've used by far, and uh, you can get it at results513.com slash co-schedule. Now, the next link, results513.com slash ClickFunnels, that's what we use to actually build all of our pages. All right, we use ClickFunnels, we build our uh, webinar registration pages, um, all the other stuff that, we've, that you see from us is, is probably done in there, all right? Uh, results513.com slash blog is uh, where we publish content daily following the schedule that I talked about up here. So this one right here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Glover Scope episodes more content Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and then a podcast episode on Saturday. And there will be additional podcast episodes coming as well because we have more podcasts launching soon. Yay, and I'm excited. Um, the next one is results513.com slash blueprint. What that is, that is our free plus shipping offer. If you want to learn how to build an offer that you can sell on a webinar for 500 or $1,000, you've gotta have this. The blueprint is free. We ship it out to your door. We just ask you to pay a couple bucks for shipping and handling. We'll ship you an hour-long CD, plus we'll give you the digital version um, and the physical version of the actual blueprint. We'll ship it out to your door, all right? And then, like I said, that's the, the link to register for tomorrow's webinar. Okay, so when we talk about expanding this piece right here, free content to the webinar. So let's talk about the webinar, okay? So here's the four-step process to making all of this work. And this is our business model in a nutshell, okay? So the formula is this right here. Step one, create the perfect offer. I don't care what you have to do. When I go into a new market, all right, I, if you wanna make a million dollars, if I wanna make a million dollars and I go into a new market, this is, this is the process that I follow. Step one, I create the perfect offer. How do I do that? I print out the perfect offer blueprint I make sure that, and then I just follow it. I go through all of that. So if you don't, if you if you want to follow this format, and you don't have an offer, as a matter of fact, even if you do have an offer, go to results513.com/blueprint and uh, and pick up the free 
uh, the free offer or the free perfect offer blueprint because that's the very first thing that I do. And, and I, I, when I was putting this together, I thought, you know, the way that I look at this is if my mom was asking me, you know, hey, what do I need to do? I need to, to make money. Um, what do I need to do? I'm ready to build a business online. This is what I would tell her to do. Step one, do whatever it takes. Spend the time necessary. Spend the money necessary to create a perfect offer. Once you have the perf, put all your energy there, all your time there, get that part right. And forget about all the other stuff. Just focus on this. All right. Now, the second step, once you have the perfect offer, and when I say perfect offer, I mean an offer that sells for $500 or $1,000. There's two price points that work here with this formula, $500 or $1,000. Now, once you have the perfect offer, then you create the perfect webinar to sell that offer. All right. This is another process that you got to go through and there's a perfection process to getting that webinar just perfect. All right. It takes nine to 14 weeks in order to, to get a perfect webinar. All right. So here's what you do. You put all your energy on creating this first one. We have a template. We've got a formula that, uh, it's, it's basically it's, it's our, proven formula. We do, we do offer creation sessions for people and webinar creation sessions where basically we get on a Skype call face to face. I, I literally, I stand in front of this big ass whiteboard. We get on a face to face Skype call. I put some music on in the background. We spend two hours and I create a perfect offer for you. I ask you a bunch of questions. We go through the process and literally at the end of two hours, you come with an idea. And at the end of two hours, we have, we, you have a perfect offer right here, ready to go right in front of you. All right. Then you have the perfect webinar. So the other day I, um, give me one second guys. The other day I was on a broadcast and it died. Uh, and I don't want that to happen again. So let me plug my phone in. Give me one sec. Do, 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 do. I need like a commercial music. Okay. Boom. Charging. No dying tonight. All right. So as I was saying, we do, we do a perfect offer uh, session, two hours, then that one is marked off. You're done. Okay. Once the offer is done, the next step is create a webinar. We, we have again, the same, same thing, two hours, you can come in, your perfect webinar is done. All right. 80% done, not completely done. There's some things like, you know, you're, you'll have to think about some stories and stuff like that, that we can't obviously do in, in two hours. However, we'll lay out all the slides. We'll figure out, you know, if it's uh, best in PowerPoint or keynote, you know, whatever you use, um, we'll look at the offer and, and help you craft and take you the psychology of each one of the slides, show you what order to put the slides in, show you how to do it, all of that stuff. Okay. So that, that takes care of the perfect offer. Once you have these two things done, the next step is go deliver your first webinar. We walk you through that process. And by the way, we have the perfect offer blueprint that we give away that teaches how to do that. So don't worry if, you know, but the quick way is to just do the, the offer creation session. So um, if you guys are interested in, in having us do this stuff, matter of fact, you can go to results513.com slash apply, A-P-P-L-Y. And uh, there's a little form there and just fill that form out and tell us what your needs are. And we'll, uh, we'll call you on the phone. We'll, we'll work with you. See what, see how we can help. All right. We'll give you a free strategy session and uh, see if we can uh, add some value to you, some more value. Okay. So I'm actually sitting down on the ground right now because my feet are tired. Um, so perfect webinar, then nine to 14 weeks. Okay. Nine to 14 weeks is the perfection process. Here's, here's what I mean by that. The first time you deliver the webinar, you're going to get questions. You're going to have objections. Not everybody that shows up is going to buy. However, after the webinar, you take all those questions, you take all those objections and you go and you build a slide in to losing feed. Type one, if the connection's good guys, type two, if the connection is bad. All right. Type one, if you can hear me. Hello. Did I lose you guys? Bum, 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 bum. I still see the hearts coming in. I think we're on a tweet time and ad. 
Brenda says I'm pretty badass helping you create your webinar. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, she is. She's way better at webinars than I am. Way faster. Um, okay, so type one if you can hear me and the connection is good. Okay, cool. Okay, so <laughs> one to two. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. We're almost done here. Uh, so nine to 14 weeks. What that means is here's, here's our philosophy. Week number one, you advertise to your existing audience. All right, I don't care if it's five people or five million people. Week number one, you promote your butt off just to see how much pull you have. See how many people you can get onto a webinar. After week number one, then you start investing into traffic. So here's my strategy for investing. If you're selling a, a five hundred or a thousand dollar webinar, then you invest a thousand dollars for your first webinar to get as many people to to show up to that that webinar as possible. All right. Close to the wall loses me. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so a thousand dollars. Where'd my finger go? There it is. So a thousand dollars to get as many people for your your first your first webinar or your second one technically because the first one you advertise to your audience. Now, all that way, all you have to do is make one sale and you break even. Okay, and if you follow the perfect offer and the perfect webinar, here's something cool, guys. When you have the perfect offer and the perfect webinar script written out, I told you guys we're doing a webinar tomorrow. You could literally show up to the webinar, pretend to be me, read the script, and probably close five to six percent. That's the power of having the perfect webinar and the perfect offer, that messaging matched up. All right, when you get that part right, it's it's just a matter of, of just doing it, showing up and reading. Now you can get that 6% or that 5% up to 10% by things like working on things like salesmanship and your, your pitch and your delivery, how you actually do it. You can get better. And every single week, you take all of the questions, all of the objections, and then you go back to your presentation and you, um, you build in a slide that answers the common questions, that answers the common objections. All right. Once you have those answered, next week, all of a sudden, those questions go away. All of a sudden, those objections go away away. All right. So at that point, the webinar gets better and you only have to make one sale to break even when you invest a thousand bucks to get your, your, you know, get your people to the first webinar. And then after that, what we do, our strategy is we, in, we reinvest 30% of our profit to get even more people to the next webinar. Okay. So that is the strategy for what we do. Who here has enjoyed Whiteboard Wednesday. What's on the Whiteboard Wednesday? Oh my God, look at all of this stuff that I just dumped on you guys. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so where are we at on hearts? Where are we at? Where are we at? Dum -dum -dum -dum. Somebody give me a heart update count. And uh, any questions too. I I'm free to answer any questions. I'll hang out for another 10, 20 minutes answering questions if you guys want me to. Uh, you just let me know. I think we do have a little bit of a delay here. Um, so let me know what questions you have and uh, type in your favorite word, one word, all caps, your favorite word, the most creative word you can think of, type it all in if you got value from being on this webinar or being on this uh, Periscope. Rebel says, hey sexy, hey sexy. You look like a dude in that picture, but I'm okay with my sexuality. All right, got some thumbs up. Have to rewatch again from the beginning? Yes, absolutely. That was a lot of awesomeness. It was, man. It was freaking packed. I told you I could have. This this is like multiple products. Hundred and eighty-seven thousand. Eight hundred and fifty-four. All right, so almost one hundred and eighty-eight thousand. Let's see. We can do five thousand more, right? You guys can do it. Okay. So, what questions do you have? Let's do about uh, 10, 15 minutes of Q&A um, and let me know what questions you guys have. Um, and if you have any questions, wherever you hopped on at, if you missed part of it, I can recap at any, any part of this if I need to. Just let me know. Phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. Guys, seriously, thanks so much. I'm going to sit down. Hope you don't mind. Uh, thank you for showing up and hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for inviting your friends, those of you that hopped on and invited your followers I'm truly grateful for you. I appreciate it. I am on catch. I just signed up yesterday. As a matter of fact, two days ago, two nights ago, uh, I did a broadcast and catch HQ actually showed up and 
talked and, and we got to, to chat and I jumped on one of one of his broadcasts, basically the people, the creators of, of Catch, their, their uh, corporate account. So um, that was pretty cool. So I went over after that, that's, there's my point, I went over to it and actually signed up for a Catch, um, a Catch account. So I noticed uh, earlier on my broadcast that it actually did, uh, it did work. So yes, I am on Catch. Uh, you can go to twitter.com slash Justin Glover and uh, see the, the latest broadcast or however you watch your broadcast. Um, somebody said you have poop hearts. Um, let, just reframe it. I, I, I call them chocolate hearts. Chocolate's way better than poop. And <laughs> this is coming from somebody who talks about poop a lot. If you're on my email list, I okay, so two people in the same week called me out for talking about poop too much on to my email list. <laughs> if you guys were on my email list, then you know what I'm talking about. One of them said, uh, I can't even remember the subject lines, but um, they were all, uh, <laughs> my wife asked me, she was like, what, do you, what's your deal with poop lately? And then, then Brenda asked me, she was like, don't shave my beard. No, I'm going to shave, man. I need a freaking, it's going to get ridiculous. I'm like three days past due. Uh, I got to shave this down. Not completely, but like super. Uh, four boys, six kids, so we're used to it. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, so if there's not any questions, what would you guys like to do? Is, would anybody, does anybody have some value or follow-up or talent? We can have some fun at the end of this thing. Uh, there's a few people still on here. If you guys would like, if somebody has some talent and you want to fire up a scope of your own, then uh, I can hop on your scope and pass everybody on to you. All right, that's one of the, uh, the concepts that I actually talked about. Um, on the blog the other day in a blog post, it's called a periscope swap. Um, this isn't actually a swap, swap. This is sort of like a, a handoff. Are using all social media to share content? Um, we are using, let's see, we've got my personal Facebook page, um, our personal Facebook profile. We've got uh, Brenda's Facebook page, or profile. We both have fan pages. We have a group, a Facebook group together. Um, we both have Twitter accounts. We're not very active on Twitter. I mean, there's there's posts that are on there, but I don't like log into Twitter and check my messages and stuff like that. Um, I was active on there for at, for at once whenever it first came out uh, for a long time. I've got like 50,000 followers on there. Um, so I'm, I'm getting back into that. Uh, so we, we tweet them out to there. Um, I think she has LinkedIn that we're actually publishing on. Other than that, that's pretty much it as far as social media. We're not, we don't do a lot on uh, Pinterest or Instagram or things like that. YouTube as well, yeah, YouTube, um, and yeah, just just Periscope. So there you go. Any other questions or comments or anybody have talent or anybody give me a heart count or anybody like my shirt or yeah, Honey Badger, I want to follow your blog. Yeah, everybody go follow Honey Badger. Matter of fact, everybody follow everybody. All right, you like my shirt. Hey, I appreciate it. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Got it, forgotten. I think Periscope is going to be huge like YouTube huge. I agree. I think Periscope is the future of TV watching. Um, if you were on earlier, I talked about um, 188,000, 4,000 more guys, 4,000 more hearts, and we are there. There's 26 of you here. You can either tap it up yourself or you can swipe to the right. You can invite your friends to hang out for the rest of this broadcast. Uh, you can invite them again, if, even if you have already invited them. However, the content is over. It'll just be me answering you guys' questions. So, uh, I want to master Periscope. Yeah, I do too. Um, the number one secret: stay consistent. Follow the uh, the scope schedule that I got. You know, keep it keep it loose. That would be a good tip. Um, initially, keep it very loose. Um, I'm a vlogger, not a blogger. That's a video blogger, right? Is that like exclusively video? Like nothing else, like there's no written content, like 100% video, is that, is that what uh, is considered to be a blogger or a vlogger? I do three days a week, awesome. What is your, what's your blog or your vlog? What is the URL? Type it in the chat box. Who here, who here does Periscope broadcast? Type me, or actually, let's see, let's come up with a different word. Uh, type the word, hey look, here's my timer. Who was asking about the timer earlier? I just brought it in. I'm going to start using it tomorrow on tomorrow's broadcast. Type in the word 
Expo. Expo. Actually, type in, yeah, type in the word Expo if you are currently doing uh, Periscope broadcasts. Expo, Expo. All right, so everybody that types in the word Expo, those of you that are watching, tap on their name, and then you can click View Profile, and uh, you can follow them. So John Albert, I am following you. Looks like you have three recent uh, broadcasts. So then we've got the Honey Badger. Make sure. So one recent broadcast. I'm going to follow her. 109,000 hearts. Nice. 673 followers. Very cool. Krista is doing periscopes. Oops, that's not Krista. Where'd you go? Krista, type in something else again. I missed you. Um, who else is doing periscope broadcast? Type in the word expo if you're doing periscope broadcast. All right, type in the number type in the number 2 if you are planning on if you have plans to be to be doing periscope broadcast. Type in the number 2. Okay. So we got a few people Terry and Daily L3AF. Uh, what's your first name? Daily L3AF and Lotus Palmer. Let's get it, I think. So I would recommend start on now. Just just do one. Uh, let Wiggins go ahead and do one. So those of you that have not done your first broadcast, you want to make tomorrow awesome, do your first broadcast. It's a great feeling when you get done. You'll be nervous. If, if that's what's holding you back, if you're nervous on it, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, just do it anyway. Get it under your belt. Uh, I missed that last comment. I'm sorry. Despite the storm is planning on doing broadcasts until I get through monetization training. I missed the first part of that question. So uh, then I have a show. All right. All right. All right. Where are we at on hearts, guys? Hey guys, man, how long have we been here? Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. This is awesome. I'm having fun. Hey, so you know those, uh, one of the things that a lot of uh, people, I was nervous, but it was way fun. This was fun. Awesome. 189,000. It says 9,000 left. I will do it when we get to 100. Let's see, 189. So we need 94. So 90, let's do 5,000 more. All right, 5,000 more. If you've done... Uh, 500 hearts and you're over 500 jump out of the broadcast jump right back in because only 500 goes to go go towards the uh, the heart total so you got to jump out and, and jump back in and by the way by the way those of you who here has been on I'll give you guys a little uh, well it was a ninja tip at one point but a lot of people are talking about it now um, or more people are talking about it so who here has ever showed up to a broadcast and it said broadcast too full and you couldn't actually type type in a comment because there was two people or too many people. Who here has done that before? Okay, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Do you guys know how to how to guarantee that you can get back into that broadcast? Here's how you do it. If you show up and the broadcast is full, you leave the broadcast and throw my iPad. No, that doesn't help. Um, <laughs> that might make things worse. So you leave the broadcast and you come back. So jump out and then jump back in. And then jump out and then jump back in. And then jump out and then jump back in. Do that over and over and eventually, it usually takes about four times or so. Sometimes it might take five or six. I've never had it take more than like eight. Um, but just leave the broadcast and then come right back in. Leave the broadcast, come right back in. And when you do that, the way that Periscope works, people are always coming in and out, in and out. All right. No, you just keep doing it. I promise you, Terry, it works 100% of the time. You just got to stick with it. You just didn't do it enough. All right. If there's like thousands of people on there, then you might have to do it a little bit more than five or six times, but just keep doing it. It always, always works. All right. Yes. Yeah, she says, try it, you know, 20 times. It always, it always works. All right. Always gets in. So just jump out of the broadcast, jump in. And then eventually one of those times that you jump in, it will, instead of saying broadcast too full, it will say, say something and then you'll have the ability to comment. So that's how you can actually get into the broadcast. All right, so talking about Ninja Tips, because I like to give stuff that not a lot of people are talking about. You guys want to know something really cool? It's a Ninja Tip that uh, I've only heard, I think, one other person talk about on Periscope. Neil Diamond concerts are way too full. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so 
I don't know if you're like really big on Twitter, um, if you use Twitter very much, but I've never used this feature. However, I think it's pretty cool. Here in Periscope, you guys can, in the chat box, you type it in, type in at Justin Glover, and then space, and then capital D, capital M, and then space, and then a message. And what that will do is, um, no, 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 so not in the chat box. You click the Perry button, click the, uh, click the guy. Sorry, yeah, I know, I told you that how to do the wrong thing. So when you type at Justin Glover, it highlights your message for me. It puts this big old arrow. So you just did that, I saw it. It puts this massive arrow so your comments stand out. So once you're in these full broadcast, do that, tag the broadcaster, and that's how you get their attention. But here's how you can actually, did you know that you can actually send a direct message to the broadcaster directly from this Periscope broadcast? You can send a tweet or you can actually send a direct message. So to send a tweet, you just click on the broadcast and or click on the little the guy with the floating hearts and you'll click on him his name is Carl and then you click uh, share on Twitter when you click share on Twitter it'll pre-populate this long link erase all of that stuff type in at Justin Glover space DM space and then your message if that doesn't work type in DM space Justin Glover or at Justin Glover space and then your message I think it's at Justin Glover space DM and then space your message so that will then send me a direct message on Twitter. And uh, just if you, if you are, are tweeting it, um, you can just, by tagging me, I will actually get that tweet. Honey Badger, I saw that. Thank you so much for tagging me there. Uh, then make a message. Yeah, absolutely. Just like, you're on, you're just like you're on Twitter. So if you go to share it on Twitter, um, yeah, so you guys are typing it in the chat. You actually need to type that exact same thing inside of where it says so don't type it in the chat you actually click the button that says share on twitter all right so you click it and then you um you say share on twitter i just dropped the marker lid well, this is orange anyway i don't really like this color I should let it dry out um you, you click share on twitter and then once once you once the, it'll pull that box up just erase the link and all of that stuff and you can send a direct message straight from there 190,000 hearts. All right, 4,000 4, more, guys. We can do it. And uh, let's give, all right, let's set a timer because I'm getting tired. My throat's getting sore. Let's set a timer to this mug. How much time we need? 190,000. So we need 4,220 more hearts. Share the delay. Share the delay. I'm not sure what you mean. Let's see how many hearts we can, let's see if we can hit it in five zero zero think we can do it in five minutes the honey badger followed you honey badger you have a new follower awesome 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 okay so everybody just type in some some stuff you guys go follow everybody that's on here um whenever somebody comments on in the broadcast just click on their name you can tap on it and you can actually click a view profile and you can follow them straight from here so when people are, are typing you guys you guys make uh make friends all right, so let's go with five minutes, and we'll do an, we'll do the final heart count. All right, timer is a ticking right here. When you're doing a broadcast and the room is moving too quick for comments to read, uh, if you use a second device, Periscope world problems, great work. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Mr. Ferguson. The comments are on a five-second delay, and yeah, it sucks. So you can keep up. Awesome. So I did follow you, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, I followed you. Um, I'm looking forward to your, your broadcast. You got some, some good Periscope knowledge. You guys go follow the honey badger. She knows what she's doing. That is pretty obvious. Sarah Cole is here. Sarah, you've been quiet or I haven't seen you. What's your username? Dropping the hearts. I appreciate it. Brian is still here hanging out. Ian is still here dropping hearts, hanging out. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all for the hearts. Uh, despite the storm. Okay, there you go. Uh, I came in here for the million bucks. You came in here for the million bucks? Did you just come in? If so, then you missed it. I'm sorry. You'll have to catch the replay. Um, let's do a quick recap. You guys want to do a quick recap? We've got three minutes and 34 seconds to get to... 194.
1,224 hearts. I use iPad to read comments while I broadcast if the room is too fast. All right, guys, so, man, I, I'm working on something really cool, like something that I haven't seen anybody do on Periscope. Actually, I, I take that back. I saw one person do it, um, but it's awesome. Like, all right, so imagine you're watching this broadcast, okay? And you see, like you, you have the ability, and I'm setting this up right now. It might be another week or so because I have to buy a few things. Um, and I, I'm just got a busy week, but here's, here's this. Imagine on your broadcast, if you could have a little title, the title of your broadcast scrolling across the top, just over and over scrolling across the top in real time. All right. You can put, you can change that. You can put a call to action. Imagine if you could put your name either to the right or to the side or whatever. Right now you don't have the ability to do that within Periscope. However, we figured a way to actually do that. Uh, with a few other things. It's, it's, it's kind of ghetto. I, I won't lie. It, not, well, it's not ghetto. It, it works actually really well, um, but it, it's, it's clunky. All right? The ideal way would be if Periscope actually gives the ability to choose which, which uh, audio and video feed um, we, we broadcast, but that hasn't happened yet. So for now, there, there's a way around it. So I'm going to be working on it, and it in <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it involves. Uh, I'll show you whenever I actually do it. I'll do one of the broadcasts. Hopefully it'll be in the next couple of weeks. Um, like I said, I got to buy some stuff, take a piece of paper above my head. Hey, that'll work too. I mean, you can, you can write some stuff. This is way, way like I'm talking like, cause right now that's kind of the only way to do like cost actions and links and stuff is to have like something written or, you know, something above your head. I'm actually getting Glover scope uniforms, like a t-shirt that says Glover scope, um, dot com or something like that. So uh, four pages of notes and three screenshots. Awesome. 9% battery left. Uh, you might lose me. Okay, so let's let's see. We got a minute and 29. We're going to assume that you guys are going to keep tapping the screen and uh, and rocking out the hearts, and we're going to hit this heart goal. So what that means is somebody is going to get one of these Lav mics, the Smart Lav Rogue Rode mics. All right. This is the mic right here. So here's how this works. Um, I probably should have thought this out because I don't really know how this works. I'm going to choose a number and I'm going to write it down on the whiteboard. What do you guys want? A number between one and 100, okay? So give me a second, let me write a number down. A disclaimer, well, then I take it back, Never mind. Okay, so I have three numbers written on the board between one and 100. All right, the first two numbers are warm up. Okay, the first two numbers, you will win something. What will you win? I don't know. You'll win something. I'll come up with something. What do you guys want? I'll send you a book, maybe. Um, okay, so. One number. Let's let's go first. Let's see where are we at on the hearts. Somebody give me a total heart count. Where are we at? Did we hit it? We should be at one hundred and ninety-four thousand two hundred and twenty-four hearts. How close are we? You guys are guessing numbers already. <laughs> not yet. Don't guess numbers yet. I'm not. I, I missed all of them, so you'll have to guess again. Waiting on a heart count. One ninety-one. All right, so you guys keep, keep tapping the screen. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and play, start the game. So there's three numbers on the board. We're looking for one of the numbers right now, all right? The other two, they'll be, I'll, let's see, what can I send you? What's, uh, I will send you a book, a book of your choice on Amazon, all right? Or a book of my choice. If you want me to pick, I'll, I've got plenty of books uh, that I will send. I'll send you the books that, I've, that have been the most beneficial to me. So... There's three prizes up for grabs, all right? Look at this. I promised you guys one thing, and I'm giving you three. Isn't that cool? You guys have to like, all right, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Books are readable. <laughs> we like books. Okay, cool. You guys love books. All right, so do you guys want to do a book first, or do you want to do the mic first? Well, let's do a book first. Let's do a book giveaway first. All right, we'll do two books, and you guys keep tapping because... Uh, 
We need to hit. We need to make sure that you guys are going to get 194 before I give away this mic. Okay. So here's how it works. The first person that I see get the number, um, hit the number, will actually will win. All right. If if nobody's getting close, we'll just go with whoever's closer. Okay. So type in a number between one and 100. All right. We got five. 37, 51, keep on guessing, 67. Matter of fact, here's what we'll do, 54, 86. Any, the first, any number that you hit, so the top two numbers on the board, I've got two numbers written on top, 46, 67, 83, 31, 56, none yet, 77, 65, 24, 24 was close, 66, 77, 48, 48 was close, 13, 90, 13, 97, 600, 13, 22. Uh, the honey badger got 22 first. I'm looking for the second one. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, the honey badger got 47. Are you kidding me? She got two of them? All right, there's one number left, guys. Haven't seen it yet, and this one is for the mic. Where's it at? Where's it at? 99, 93, nope, 76, 35, 88, 22, 87, nope, 12, nope, 73, 94, nope, 19. Harry... Who said 19? I think it was Harry. Uh, Henry. Henry. Henry said 19. That was the winner. I will prove it to you guys. Hang on. Let me flip the camera around. There are the numbers. 47 and 22 were the books. 19 was for the mic. That's awesome, dude. Little Rock, too. I don't even have to ship it. <laughs> You're, you are from Little Rock, right? Okay. So here's the thing. Are you going, do you do Periscope broadcasts? Let's see. I follow, you are going to be doing Periscope broadcasts, right? If you are not already. Is that correct? Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Ferguson. I appreciate that. Okay, cool. So yeah, this mic will come in uh, very handy. You'll like it. You guys want to hear the difference in the mic? Okay. So here, I guess two. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. She got two like back to back. All right, so this is the sound. Can you guys tell the difference? This is the sound without the actual mic, all right? So this is how it sounds with the mic. Let me plug it in. So this is with the mic. Can you guys tell a big difference? Okay, huge difference on the audio, yeah. So this is a really good mic. All of the, the top broadcasters that I see on Periscope, I just keep hearing them talk about this mic. Um, I had never even heard of it until I started watching these guys, but, uh, but yeah, I got it. It plugs right into your phone. There's no installation, anything like this. You just plug it in and, uh, it's got a little clip and it comes. It's awesome. Yeah. It's got great reviews on Amazon. So you have one of those mics coming. Uh, you guys are all following me. Obviously it is the Rode R O D E and it's called the smart love L A V. Now I need a light. You're exactly right. I do need a light. And uh, that's one of the things that I'm going to be uh, be doing. How much is the mic? I have no idea. Um, I bought two the other day. I bought one for me and Brenda and uh, shipping that out to her. So I'm shipping that out to her tomorrow. So tell you what, find me on Facebook or actually you can email it to me. Uh, Justin at results513.com. Email me uh, your address, uh, the honey badger and... Henry. Hey, Honey Badger, what is your first name again? I totally forgot if you told me earlier. I'm sorry. Email is justin at results513.com. Let me write this on the board and I'll show you guys. Justin at Catherine. Catherine Zupan. Oh, sorry. Okay. Shh. The honey badger. There you go. It's in there. Justin at results513.com. Results513.com. Justin at results513.com. There you go. Send me an email with your address. And uh, cat, send me, cat, I like that. Honey badger, cat. Yeah. So, Send me uh, an email with your with your address and two books that you would like from Amazon or Audible. I'll do Audible too. 
193,700. So we have to get, let's see, seven, eight, nine, I don't know, like 500 more hearts. Get like 500 more and uh, Henry locks in this, this mic. So help him out, guys. Or you can be just totally rude and leave and stop giving hearts and leave him leave him hanging like this. But you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You'll keep tapping. <laughs> All right. Tap it up. Tap it up. All right. So any questions, guys? Did you guys have fun tonight? Brian Gibbs. What's up, Brian? Man, you missed a good one tonight. You're going to have to check this one out for sure. All right. You guys have fun. Type in Type in your favorite word in all caps. If you had an amazing time, he has to share the books. What books? Yeah. Diamonds. Give me some other words in all caps. Boom shakalaka. I like that word. Glory. What other words we got? What other words we got? And uh, another updated heart count as well. Make sure that we are the ones you're giving away. Okay, so yeah, so um, what did, what was the question again? I'm sorry, the, the name of the books or um, I have to give away the books? We gave away two books and uh, a, a microphone. Tapping your fingers off. Fantabulous. Hey, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Type in where you are from. I didn't ask that at the beginning. I probably should have. 194, 178. All right, less than... We're going to hit this, no problem. <laughs> I don't know, the heart stopped. Uh, okay, so the goal was 194, 225. Louisville, Houston, MY. Where is MY? My? KY, I think. Louisville, Kentucky, that's right. San Diego, man, what's the weather like in San Diego? Amazing? It's always amazing there. Puerto Rico, originally San Francisco Bay, California, just moved to Fargo two years ago. Dakota, 619, baby. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So, guys, we are coming to the end of this. Uh, 619 is the area code for San Diego. Awesome. Yeah, I really like San Diego. Me and my wife are, are huge beach people. Uh, we love like going over to the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. It's one of our favorite places in the world, um, mainly because of the weather. Um, San Diego is the is sort of the, the second best in our opinion. Uh, in terms of weather, man, it's just <laughs> it is awesome. Yeah, Coronado Island is is beautiful for sure. One ninety four seven hundred. Okay, so we did it officially. We have passed thirty thousand hearts for this one broadcast. So uh, that's awesome. I appreciate you guys um, for tapping. Thank you so much. I hope you got tremendous value uh, out of this broadcast. I'm going to do a super quick recap. So over here, this is the picture that I showed you guys. This right here was uh, how to create content that makes people want to follow you. Um, this is our Periscope strategy, which leads to the email, where our emails go. And then we take the Periscope recordings, put them on YouTube, which goes in there. Just joined in. Can you give a quick summary of what your channel is all about? Yes, my name is Justin Glover. Uh, I teach entrepreneurs how to build businesses that are amazing without having lives that are shitty. <laughs> uh, I couldn't think of anything else, so that just came out. Um, how to build a business uh, that you love and enjoy without beating your head against the wall, all right? That's what I teach people how to do, how to be better entrepreneurs. This right here, this is my process for creating content. I'm going to be going a lot deeper into this on an upcoming broadcast. Um, this is how I create content. I don't just sit down and start writing, you know, try to think of an idea. I've tried that. I made it like two days. That way does not work. All right. Uh, we talked about how to turn one Periscope show into seven different YouTube shows. I gave you the formula right here, the four steps, create the perfect offer, follow that up by creating the perfect webinar. Uh, do that perfect webinar for nine to 14 weeks. Every week, reinvest 30% of your profits to get even more people to your next webinar. Up here, we have the overall strategy. We, we send ads, targeted ads to people to our free content, which does three things. It grows our Periscope audience, it grows our email list, and it puts people onto our weekly webinars. These two, the webinar, 
equals money. The email list equals money. This, I covered my overall schedule, all right? What I do every minute of the day from five, five o'clock in the morning till I go to bed at night. Then I covered the blog schedule. What I post about on my blog, Monday through Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there's a Glover Scope episode. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, it's open. And then a Marketing Minute podcast. Watched four other scopes and came back in and I'm still live. Yes, we hit the goal. We gave away two books, we gave away a microphone. And it's been awesome. We've had a lot of fun. I'm doing a final recap right now, and we are off of this bad boy. And uh, Henry won the mic, and he's excited. Okay, so then I talked about the email micro or the, <laughs> the email microphone. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm tired. So I talked about my email schedule, how I actually send, because we send daily emails, daily-ish emails. Um, going forward, though, they will be they will be daily. So uh, we've got we've got the email schedule that goes into right here. Then we have the glove. Hey. Krista, answer me this. Those other four scopes, were they as valuable as this one? Be honest. Be honest. Unless they were, they were or more valuable, then just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> okay, so Glover Scope schedule right here. Um, what I actually talk about, we covered that. What else did we cover? I think that's it. Uh, da, 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 da. We gave away some books. We, we started at 164, not money-making value. So we started at 164,000 hearts. Uh, we now are over 30,000. What books do I recommend? I recommend two books uh, off the top of my head. Well, I mean, I can recommend a lot of books. Uh, and let me, let me cover these links and I'll answer that question. So the links, these are the links that if you want to take a screenshot, these are all of the links that I, that I talked about. The first two are definitely affiliate links, but um, they're good. So results513.com slash co-schedule. That's what I use to, to manage my editorial calendar and schedule out all of the promotion of my content. It does it automatically. It's amazing. All right. Check that out. Sign up, especially if you're creating content. If you guys are doing uh, creating content and publishing, then definitely check out CoSchedule. The next one is ClickFunnels. Um, that's what we use to build all of our pages. The next one is our blog. There's lots of free content. We publish free content over there daily. The next one is results513.com slash blueprint. That is for our perfect offer blueprint. It's a free CD uh, with an over an hour of training that me and my partner put together, um, teaching you how to use the perfect offer blueprint. We'll ship it out to your door for absolutely free. Just pay a couple bucks in shipping and handling. Uh, and then we have the webinar registration link at the very bottom there. And uh, that will get you on the webinar that we do every Thursday night. These down here were the numbers that we picked, uh, 47, which is uh, one of my, my first favorite number. Um, uh, the Honey Badger got that one, Kat got that one. The next favorite number, actually Brenda's, one of Brenda's uh, favorite numbers, or she picked it the other day, um, is 22. So that's another number. Those two were worth books, and check this out. Cat Honey Badger won both of them. She guessed, she was the first one to guess 47, the first one to guess 22, and uh, so she won two different books, and then uh, 19 was the number for the microphone, and uh, Henry won that. So that is a recap. That's what we've talked about. Now, somebody asked about books. Um, so one of the, the most beneficial books that I have ever read, uh, I've tore it up, I don't know how many times I've read this. If I have my bag in here, it's in my backpack. But if you if you would see this book, like it has those little tabs and markers and stuff, it, it looks like it's been through hell. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. Um, every page is marked up. I don't think there's a single a clean page on the thing. Um, I've 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 sunk I've been in a boat reading it and fell out of the boat with the book. It's I've had to dry it out. Like it's been through hell. I've read it multiple multiple times. And that book is called Getting Things Done by David Allen. Um, the reason I like it I. I don't, I don't use his entire philosophy, but it's all about productivity and efficiency. Um, two years ago, when I went to my CPA to have her do my taxes at the end of the year, <clears throat> no, three years ago, she freaked out because over $100,000 was spent that year on productivity training. No, well, I take that back. No, on, on education, on all of my training, all of my education. However, like of the vast, vast majority, like 80% plus was just on productivity training. I went nuts on productivity training for a while. I bought every damn thing that I could possibly find that had to do with productivity. I wanted to figure it out because I wasn't that productive. Um, but uh, so I've, I went through a lot of this stuff. That book that costs like 20 bucks, 
was, was one of the best things that I got. Um, there's a lot of other things that I've sort of come in. Um, the Power of Full Engagement is another really good book by Tony Schwartz. Um, let's see. The Effective Executive, I think, is another really good one. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff, all right? A lot of different methodologies and thought processes and stuff like that. So getting things done is uh, the first book because it will it's made me more productive than anything, which has then resulted in me getting more done, which makes me more money. All right, so that's one, and that is David Allen. The second book that I think every single entrepreneur should read um, is called, you guys know what it is? You guys want to take a guess? <clears throat> it is called, it starts with the word do. The sec, it's three words. You guys try to guess guess what the, the name is. The first, it's three words. The first word is do. You guys may have no idea. It's called Do the Work by Stephen Pressfield. Um, listen to the audio book. You can get it on Audible for like 99 cents or something. Um, do the work. It'll take you less than I think, I want to say it's less than four hours, but I actually think it's, it's closer to like 90 minutes. Uh, a 90 minute read or listen and when it comes to creating things and building a business, one of the things that entrepreneurs just don't do enough of is they don't do the work. They, they overthink it, they overplan it. And I'm so guilty of this in, in, in so many different times in my life. But every entrepreneur should absolutely read this book. It's called Do the Work, it's super quick, and <laughs> it, it, it changed a lot of stuff for me, it's amazing. So you have to read that book, you have not. Uh, yeah, if you said I'm that way, perfectionist, oh my gosh, man, I, I, I don't wanna say that I am, but I, I'm right there with you. Like I relate to that. You know, it's it's not. I'm, I'm actually consciously choosing not to make that part of my identity anymore because I still struggle with this to a certain degree. So, um, but yeah, I, I totally feel you. And that book will will definitely help for sure. All right, guys. Well, um, those are the two books. Any other final questions? And we uh, we can wrap this thing up. I'm about tired. I don't even know what time it is. There's no telling. We've been on here for like what five hours. I have three whiteboards and three pages of notes on Periscope and building a brand. Awesome. Awesome. What you need to do is uh, go start doing some Periscopes. Cover your cover those whiteboards. Open them up. You got a whiteboard Wednesday and a uh, an old notebook Thursday, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, mobile Pro, Pro, Pro G-Tips? I don't know. Uh, I've done 30 already. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So the notebooks and the whiteboard, I mean, that's that's ongoing content, valuable stuff that uh, you don't really have to prep for because it's out of your head onto the whiteboard and then onto the whiteboard, you just fire up Periscope and start talking about it. All right, guys, I am done for the night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Seriously, I appreciate it. Um, every single person that, that joined in and uh, and participated in Left Hearts, thank you. Um, I, I Truly, truly, it... It means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't take you guys for granted. I know that you could have spent the time anywhere else. So hopefully you found a lot of value. Uh, I, I do these these periscopes. They're not nearly this long. This is sort of a, an extent. I was just testing some stuff out. So I have 200,000 on here by tomorrow. Awesome, nice. So I do these periscopes. I broadcast daily. Usually in the mornings on my way to work, about six to 10 minutes, uh, I'll tell a motivational or inspirational story or just whatever's on my mind. Uh, so you'll get that early in the morning, usually around uh, between 7 and 7.07. 7. Uh, that's when that'll come in. Sometimes it goes a little bit later. And then between 1 and 2 p.m. Central Time, uh, I do I do broadcast. They're usually about 20 minutes. Those are the, the Glover Scope episodes where I cover just some random stuff on blog, blog content. Now, this week happens to be Periscope week, so uh, the, the broadcasts that are coming tomorrow and the next day and the next day, those are going to be all about Periscope, how to, how to grow your Periscope following, how to get more hearts, how to have contests, how to get the, the, the gurus, the big Periscope people that have lots of stuff, how to get them to uh, reciprocate and promote your stuff and invite their followers. Um, I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about how to be a more consistent Periscoper. Um, lots of good stuff coming up on uh, over the next few days on Glover Scope. So make sure you're tuned in. There was another question that just came in a few minutes ago, um, but I missed it. I, f I forgot it. So just type that question again. I'll answer that real quick, and uh, we will rock this bad boy out. Out the door. I'm going to go for a quick run, and then I'm going to go home and uh, get some sleep. So there was another question. I forgot what it was. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I'm in Conway, Arkansas. 
uh, right smack dab in the middle of Arkansas. 11 p.m. Okay, yeah, it's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out, and uh, make sure that you are following me. If you're watching this on the replay, make sure that you're following me, and uh, we'll talk soon.